Alright, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to do another quick tips video, and uh, what we're going to be talking about today is displaying a single object on multiple layers without duplicating. Um, I know sometimes I, I, myself, and I think quite a few other people, like to use layers as a way to save different um, versions of a mesh, and uh, and, and uh, use, them, use it to separate meshes in different categories, but the problem with that sometimes is that you may want one um, mesh to be like on a certain layer because if it's if it's like type of mesh like let's say you have a bunch of different planes that you want on the same layer so you put those all on the same layer but you also want one specific plane to be displayed on the sphere layer for whatever reason or something like that and um, and you're not gonna be able to do that normally by just selecting both the layers because then all the planes and all the spheres will be together you want just that one plane with all the spheres so there's actually a really easy way to do this and I just discovered this recently and I'm surprised I actually did not know about it before so um, let's move this cube up really quickly here in Blender and um, I'm gonna add a ground plane just to show you uh, this and then you know we'll add another plane here just like in our example um, we'll go ahead and get rid of these uh, these lights and camera we don't really need them um, Duplicate this, duplicate this, and uh, just to follow along with the example, I'll uh, I'll delete this actually and put some spheres in. Uh, so we'll have one here, and we'll put another one here, and then you know here we'll scale this one up or whatever. It'll scale a few of these down, and uh, you know uh, move this around. Maybe we'll add another one of these spheres. So you know we we have a we have a pretty good like little grouping of objects here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put these planes on layer one, and um, this works regardless of the layer. I'm just putting these on layer one to show you. So these are on layer one, and um, I'm gonna put these on layer two. All right, so you can see here, here's uh, the plane layer, and here's the sphere layer. So let's say we want this specific plane to be displayed on the sphere layer, but we don't wanna display the rest of these. We go over to the objects panel in uh, the, uh, the properties panel here, and then we go down here where it says relationships and layers, and we just hold shift and select, or you can just select a single layer. So what we do here is we'll actually have it on these two layers. So now you can see when I have this plane selected down in the layers, there is an orange dot on two, and that means the active object is on these two layers. And if we go over here, we can see that now the spheres are here and just this plane is here, but we only have those one layer selected. And uh, this works with any, you can do as many layers as you want. I could make this one, you know, for all layers and like that. And, uh, I could actually make it for every single layer. Oop, they're a little small and hard to click on. <laughs> uh, I would suggest making that bigger probably normally. And uh, yeah, so you can see here now that I have an orange dot on every single layer because I in fact have this on every single layers. Um, and so yeah, that's about it. Uh, this was a really quick one I know and I hope you all enjoyed this and learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.